Buried beneath the last dense jungles of planet Earth, there are hidden mysteries that are only just coming to light. Over the last centuries, wonders of the world have been uncovered here. But did you know that we are only just scratching the surface? In a world-shattering revelation, technological advancements reveal what scientists could never see before, hidden beneath the dense canopy, and what they found is beyond anything they could have imagined. Do you have what it takes to stomach the truth? Join us as we unveil the cosmic mysteries that lies beneath the jungle. Underneath the canopy of this Central American tropical forest, one of the last lungs of Mother Nature, is an impenetrable, dense, hot and humid environment, teeming with life and biting insects. A whole 30 million hectares of it. It's not a place you'd want to get lost in. To put its size into perspective, it would be like getting dropped into the state of New Mexico, but there are no roads, no GPS, and you would have to find your way out of there. You would most likely not come back alive. This forest is even as big as the European country Germany. It's one of the largest tropical forests left on planet Earth, making all other forests on the planet look minute in comparison. Trying to solve a mystery from inside this jungle is like looking for a needle in a haystack. This never-ending sea of trees spans across three countries. In the north is Mexico, and to the southwest is Guatemala, and to the southeast is Belize, and the forest spreads as far as to the Caribbean coastline. Though centuries ago, it stretched even further, as far south as El Salvador and Honduras. This is not just any old jungle, it's known as the Forest of the Maya, and hides some of the most perplexing mysteries known to mankind. For archaeologists, it has been a tough challenge to find the ancient sites that an extremely advanced civilization left behind almost a millennia ago. What has already been uncovered is only a fraction of what was once super cities. Not just one, but thousands of urban centers that supported millions of people just like our megacities today, but possibly far more advanced than we could have ever dreamed of. It may have seemed completely crazy to imagine what was going on here, but new technology is mapping out what lies beneath the thick canopy. The latest in LiDAR technology allows for scientists to map the forest floor without having to disturb or dig anything up. The LiDAR technology is used by flying an aeroplane over the site Light waves are pulsed down and they bounce off objects below, before returning to the sensor. The LiDAR sensor tracks the amount of time each pulse takes to return and creates a three-dimensional map of the environment below. The technology is extremely expensive, but what it has been able to do is give scientists almost X-ray vision. And what they saw was so perplexing, it has left them scratching their heads in confusion. From the excavations that have already taken place, there has not been one piece of evidence that has shown that the ancient Maya used the wheel or had any domesticated animals. Yet the LiDAR technology has mapped out cities so extensive, complete with mega infrastructure projects, such as the first ever superhighways known to man, and 17 distinct roads have been identified. These roads and causeways are 130 feet wide, which would be wider than a 10-lane modern highway. All of this was built between 2,000 and 1,000 years ago. These discoveries are truly astounding in themselves. But that's not all. After decades of excavations, combined with the recent LiDAR technology, numerous archaeological studies have shown hundreds and thousands of settlement sites. This has proven that the population density is similar to that of modern-day California. Which is incredible when you think about it, because California is one of the most densely populated states in the USA. It ranks 11 out of 50 for population density. This totally surprised experts, since the environment of the Maya jungle is considered not to be arable land. This is due to its geographical location and geology. There's a whole lot of limestone around, it's the dominant rock type in this area, which does not usually generate good soil. And the soil that is there is only a scan layer that covers the surface. 
underneath the limestone are huge quartz caves and sinkholes. So how did a civilization as advanced and enduring as the Maya manage to support expanding populations and sustain such great cities if the geology and soil were so poor? And even more intriguing is how did they use these super highways? All these unanswered questions we were determined to uncover to bring you the truth about this fascinating and mysterious civilization. So we the Leaf of Life team went to explore a hidden Maya site completely off the beaten track. Buried deep within the jungle, this site is connected by one of the largest networks of superhighways and it's been deliberately left unexcavated. This is extremely important since it holds hidden secrets waiting to be discovered and what we found out will truly surprise you since the Maya may have had access to ancient technology that could change the future of mankind forever. After several lengthy journeys, we set up a base camp near the edge of the Maya jungle on the border of Guatemala. Our plan was to journey to a hidden city on the Belize side of the border. And to be honest, we were pretty nervous. Just a few months prior, four masked armed men had robbed and attacked a group people who were trying to visit this site. This trip wasn't for the faint-hearted. The road was extremely challenging, very bumpy, stony, and rough. We were ascending 600 meters in total. After about an hour of a hair-raising journey, we finally arrived at the site of El Pilar, which is said to connect with the superhighway network of the Maya megacity Tikal, just 50 kilometers away. Since the two sites are interconnected, it's worth understanding how impressive t really is. In this new 3D imagery, you get to really experience the technical engineering and vastness of these pyramids. The largest standing at 65 meters tall. This is equivalent to Paris's Cathedral Notre Dame. You can learn how all of this was constructed through this immersive footage, which brings the Maya civilization to life, brought to you exclusively by Curiosity Stream. From the original documentary, T Cow, you won't find this anywhere else. There's always new documentaries every single week, spanning the genres of nature, science, history, technology, and there's something for everyone. You can gain access to thousands of hours of high quality documentaries and series. You won't want to miss out on this series, Megalopolis. You'll get to experience the cities of the ancient Greeks, Egyptians, Romans, and the Maya like you've never seen it before. You can watch all of these exclusive documentaries from as little as $5 a month. The educational value you'll receive is incredible. And don't worry, if you're on a budget, there's monthly or yearly plans to choose from. Whatever works best for you, you can sign up to Curiosity Stream with the link below. Thanks to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video so we can bring you the latest in unfiltered discoveries from deep within the Maya jungle. As we explored the site of El Pilar for many hours, our guide also took us to a clearing with a hard stone road underneath and it was one of the super highways But we were told that the highway is made of limestone and apparently this helps the road to glow at night. Yet all these revelations are nothing compared to what we were about to discover. Our Maya guide and expert Narciso showed us the evidence of how large Maya populations would have thrived out here. What we were witnessing was ingenious urban planning, where squares and buildings were thoroughly thought out. From mapping time, geometry and the stars, they created courtyards, some to hold marketplaces, some for entertainment. They even used all of these buildings and flat smooth surfaces to aid with water engineering. Since six months of the year, there's typically a dry season, so they created ponds to collect all the surface runoff. But it doesn't stop there. The real bombshell of their survival was their advanced agricultural systems. Yes, you heard it right. Despite the poor geology, their ingenuity was able to overcome the poor soil quality. Previously, 
scientists thought that the dust from the Sahara was brought over by wind patterns and helped to fertilize the soil. But after many scientific tests, this theory was disproven. The answer was actually hidden in plain sight. Archaeologists did not realize what was already around them. However, Nesiso, a Maya plant expert, has showed us that there is an abundance of useful edible and medicinal plants all around the city. This might seem quite mundane, but actually it's quite remarkable because these plants did not arrive here by chance. This is because virgin forests do not contain large concentrations of useful species of plants altogether in one place. The shocking revelation was all of this had been intentionally planted. The seeds were collected and cast down thousands of years ago and those ancient seeds are still reproducing today. There are medicinal herbs, antidotes, construction materials, and other useful plants that can be turned into everyday objects. Furthermore, they use extensive mulching with organic matter to protect and fertilize the soil. They maximize the landscape to their advantage by using sustainable land management techniques. What they created was an interwoven mix of countryside and city. This incredible discovery was never thought possible because it doesn't fit into our modern paradigm. The misinformation of mainstream history has finally been disproven. The Maya civilization did not decline due to unchecked agricultural development. New studies from Brown University using LiDAR technology back up that Maya kingdoms were living comfortably, sustainably, and with no food insecurity. They suggested that the Maya were not only prepared for population growth, but they also likely saw food surpluses every year. In fact, most modern Maya people living today are still using the same farming methods from thousands of years ago. They report three harvests a year without chemical enhancement from using the milpa, also known as the Three Sisters, which is a mixed crop system alongside agroforestry. This proves the Maya never collapsed. They simply moved away from the megalithic structures of these ancient cities. But finally, thanks to these discoveries, we are starting to incorporate these methods within our own cities. Urban farming has increased by 30% in the USA and brings many benefits from increased food security to improved human health. This is why we the Leaf of Life team are in the process of turning degraded land back into a Maya food forest. Make sure to check out our website so you can be a part of the many earth-friendly projects we are supporting.